Good afternoon. Pinchell's Garage here, and this is going to be season number five. First video of season five. And what the first video is going to entail is the Mark II. Now, this is a MK2 GTI uh, with big bumpers and big doors. Uh, what do we mean by big bumpers? Well, these bumpers go all the way down. They kind of have a kind of like four turn signals or four uh, lights around them. Uh, this has a just single headlight rounds. Uh, they do come as quads or uh, square headlights. Everybody has a personal preference. I like the rounds. We're going to stay with the big bumper round setup. I really like this look. It's really nice and clean. We In last season 4, we did show you how to pull the engine. Uh, pull all the mounts and everything so we got an empty bay right now so far uh, we're gonna pull everything out of this car and when I mean everything there's gonna be nothing in here because it's gonna go to a full shave bay and we're gonna do the whole process together uh, this is my wife's car so I want to build her um, a really nice pretty much a new mark II. And that's kind of uh, the goal that we're going to do is build this entire car from the inside and out. And what I mean, what that entails is that we are going to be removing every single body panel that's removable and repairing it and then sending them out to get, send the whole car out to get, uh, to get um, resprayed and painted. You know, uh, we're going to be fixing a lot of rust. And you'll see here, there's a little bit of rust here. Uh, there's rust on the back. We need mirrors for the doors. Uh, we got to fix some of the lines on the car. I mean, there's a lot of work on here, but that's the whole point of Pinchel's Garage is to have a project and to have, you know, progress during your prop, you know, project and show you the whole way that we do everything. You know, you see there's a crease on this quarter panel that has to be taken out. I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff together and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So I'm going to show you what to do. Or how to inspect this Mark II that if you're going to decide to get one. Uh, number one, you want to look for weather strips and check the weather strips out. Make sure you don't see any rust growing out of it. Uh, make sure you don't see any water marks because that means there was either rust or there is a rust that's going to happen because it's uh, having spots where rust is going to um, like build because there's water or uh, straight metal there um, i'm going to close the hatch here give you guys a wide angle here and the only big rust spot i have on this car that i've found is not on the hatch it was on you'll see here inside here that has to be all sanded down and uh, primered before I send it to the shop. Uh, the doors are actually pretty solid and legit. Um, you're going to notice the weather strips all need to be replaced. They're completely rotted through. I'm going to need mirrors. I don't have any. The fenders are actually in good shape. No bends or creases. Uh, a little bit of rust here and there. So everything, like I said, that's steel, we're going to remove. Uh, we're going to take off, we're going to sand, we're going to get them sent out to get powder coated. That way it gets a lot of rust prevention. This is going to be my wife's new daily. It's going to be a 1.8 T swap. So we're going to show you how to do all of that. The wire harness is going to be a plug and play harness. I'm not going to teach you how to do a wire harness because I'm not going to make a wire harness. I'm going to have a company called S&P make the harness for me. And we're going to show you how to run it and plug it all in and set it all up. We're also going to have to figure out where to mount the ECU. We're going to have to figure out how to make new wiring on some certain things, but not a lot. Uh, things you need to pay attention for that might have potential rust uh, is on these guys right here, these plastic trays. They're literally just a piece of plastic. There's nothing special to them. So take them out with caution and look underneath the panel for rust. If there is any, immediately sand it down and start painting uh, with primer or black. Do whatever you can to just prevent any rust to create any more rust buildup. Rust is a cancer 
So we figure out have to figure out as much as we can to stop this cancer from spreading. Once you do stop it, it won't spread anymore. It'll just be gone. But you have to be able to sand it to straight bare metal and then paint it. You don't want to just sand it and then not get rid of all the rust. Just have a little bit of rust. And then what will happen is that it'll just come right back. And you're back at square one. So that's the exterior. Um, if I give this a 1 out of 10, I'd say it's a 7. 6 or 7, you know. Very fair. Almost a really, really clean for its age. You know, this is a 30-year-old car, so it's not that bad. Now we're going to go into the interior. That's where a lot of my money is going to go into. Um, the interior is pretty beat. You know, I don't have any door cards. Well, I do, but they're beat up. So we're going to have to remake. We're actually going to show you how to make door cards. The dash is okay, except for right up here. It's starting to crack. It's old. So we're going to hunt down a new dash or a good dash. The seats are going to be replaced. They're pretty beat up. You'll see it's ripped. This one has a flame car seat cover so that's all going to change soon um, we're actually going to pull the carpet out we're going to put new carpet in if you look at the back the back seats have never been used which is pretty crazy they're just a little dirty but they've never been used uh, if you look on the top headliner is fully intact uh, it's actually not even sagging uh, which is impressive for such an old car so I'm really happy with that all the plastic uh, panels are in here, so we're gonna get those taken out. We might find a shop to have them recoded to a different color, um, how he properly uh, painted and everything, have the headliner rewrapped. If you look down here below, the center console is actually fully intact, not cracked. So we're gonna be able to use everything from here down. We're gonna reuse it, we're just gonna freshen it back up. From here up, we're going to have to replace. The dash is all going to be completely replaced. What's really cool, we're going to be reusing the uh, stock cluster with the Mark IV harness. I want this car to be look as uh, original as possible or as 80s as possible as I can. Um, since we're going to keep it in Mark II, you know. We're going to upgrade certain little things here and there. We're not going to keep the AC. So, uh, things to look for, again... In an old car, rust, rust, rust. Always look for that. Um, a good way, like I said, the weather strips here, down here. You know, these are still keeping their elasticity. They're still good, but I'm going to replace them. I found a really cool website to replace everything with um, that remanufactures these parts. So I'm going to do that. I will be providing links of everything that we're going to be doing and Websites that you're going to be needing to get these parts when you guys are going to be rebuilding your mark II. Um, this big strip here. I don't know if this is replaceable or not if I can order another one This one's a harder one to get But I'm going to be replacing all the rubber uh, Seals on the windows. Those are all going to be replaced um, So I'm hoping for all this to get done pretty soon and these are called big doors because they don't have the split window that's right here. There's a window with the smaller doors uh, that have a small window and then the window over here. So I love these. These are pretty dope. I'm going to hunt down a monopod uh, wiper for this car. I know they made them. So that's another thing. I'm going to be using SolarWorks coilovers for the time being. Uh, we are going to bag it in the future. Uh, SolarWorks is going to be helping us with the coils on this one. We'll be paying for them, but they're going to be giving us a pretty cool setup. Uh, hopefully it's a maybe something more sporty. I don't know. We'll talk to them and see what they got. Uh, the snowflakes are actually complete. I have all four snowflakes with center caps, and they're going to be going up for sale very soon. So if you're looking for that, just, uh, look on Facebook because I'll be having them for sale soon. Uh, we're going to be making having a custom downpipe made for the 1.8T swap. We will be providing a list of motor mounts and brackets that will be needed to actually mount your 1.8T in here. Um, Everything is going to be logged online so you guys can have a really, really good and fun experience and probably the best tutorial anywhere in the world for this uh, MK2 1.8T swap. I want everybody to be able to easily uh, be able to do this swap on their own or with a friend um, soon. So again, uh, this car, I'm really, really, really excited for. 
hopefully very soon we're gonna be um doing this like like i said super quick so stay tuned again as always thanks again for watching pinchel's garage season five mk2 freaking beast build thanks again peace out